Nephi and his family eventually found a nice, cozy, safe spot to live. And they even made Nephi their king. And they became Nephites. And they began to prosper exceedingly and to multiply in the land. Things were going really well, so well, that Nephi consecrated Jacob and Joseph. Yes, his two little bros, not so little anymore. You know, the ones that were born in the wilderness? All grown up now and ready to rumble. <laughs> Nephi consecrated them, which is like being called and set apart to a position, just like we do in our church today. Like being bishop, Sunday school teacher, or the program passer outer, or even the official nursery snack taste tester. Wait, is that a thing? After being called as a teacher, Jacob didn't want to waste any time. He got right to teaching. And he rocked it. He taught the people about the fall of Adam and Eve. And about Jesus Christ. Adam and Eve had to leave the Garden of Eden. The amazing, perfect garden. And venture out into the dark and dreary world. This is just like us. We had to leave God's presence and come down to earth, get a body, go through hard things, and learn and grow, just like Adam and Eve. We were all born to this earth and will experience death and sin. It's like we're all stuck in a deep, dark pit and unable to return to our Heavenly Father. We can't climb out by ourselves. The pit is too deep. Someone has to help us. Jacob taught the people about the need for a savior. Jesus Christ. Oh, how great the goodness of our God, who prepareth a way for our escape from the grasp of this awful monster. Yea, that... Wait, what? Did he just say monster? Yeah, this pit has a monster. It represents death and hell. Thankfully, we have an escape plan. Jesus Christ is the one that can help us escape the pit and away from that creepy monster. He allows us to repent, to be forgiven of our mistakes and our sins. And His resurrection helps us overcome death and not be afraid. Because of Jesus Christ, we could return to our Heavenly Father again. This is the message that Jacob taught, and one we can all remember. And he cometh into the world, that he may save all men, if they will hearken unto his voice. For behold, he suffereth the pain of all men, yea, the pains of every living creature, both men, women, and children, who belong to the family of Adam. <laughs>